Hey, what's up, YouTube? So, check this out. I'm still trying to wake up from the last video I just finished making about uh, the Android Lollipop. But I just want to touch up on some of you guys that have been having issues with the Omega drivers. Now, I'm also having this headache myself, so I'm trying to bear with how I'm trying to fix this and how to troubleshoot it so that way I can actually update you guys on what's really going on. So, from what I'm getting is that I just finished upgrading, or, uh, yeah, I just finished upgrading the motherboard to, uh, from the F, oh, I really, I will put the links and the descriptions of what I upgraded to and from, you know, and from there you guys can get, like, a little aspect of what kind of issues I'm having and what I'm trying to do to fix it. So what I really recently got was the A eight ED uh the A eighty eight X Pro from Asus and I got the A ten seventy eight fifty K and um supposedly with the new Omega drivers I'm getting the full twenty nine percent of the improvements to what they've been doing. But the hard drive itself has the driver information and all of the product ID from my last motherboard and the APU chip that was on it. So what I kind of figure is that because I upgraded and didn't really do a full cleanup, this is probably why I'm having issues. So... I've been at this yesterday for a very long time because uh, I was having issues streaming to Twitch. I've been getting dropped frames and for some reason I kept on giving myself a headache saying that it was because of the new upgrades. Somehow uh, something is causing a conflict, maybe the memory, maybe the APU, maybe the motherboard itself is causing conflict to sending the information to the hard drive and back to the processor. So I was troubleshooting, I was doing things, I even called my ISP to let them know why I'm having uh, dropped frames. Even after they did what they did on their end to ensure me that um, everything was okay, I was still getting the issue. So I did this. I actually ran a couple of cleaners and I also decided to run a registry cleaner. Now from the registry cleaner I noticed that a whole bunch of INF uh, parts, you know, INF keys came up. Some of them had to do with the old motherboard. Some of them had to do with the South um, the South Bridge chip. So, if you guys are having issues, maybe troubleshoot it yourself. Maybe it could be a fix for you. I'm not ensuring this, but for some reason now things reset, things load faster. My memory is actually at the speed that it should be. So it could be this. I'm not really sure, but uh, get CC Cleaner. I'll put the links down below. Ensure yourself that you have the Windows Hotfix update. Uninstall. Get the um, get the AMD Utility Cleaner. Now, what this does is it removes all AMD products. Now, if you are using USB 3.0 on your motherboard. I would suggest you remove it and put it onto a legacy USB uh, plug so that way when you restart Windows it doesn't like you know if you for me instance I have the keyboard and the mouse connected to just one uh, Logitech USB stick so um, if I was to connect it to a, a USB 3.0 it wouldn't work when it actually restarts the drivers wouldn't be there it would just be gone so uh, when you run this utility, just ensure yourself that it will clean and wipe every single AMD product that's installed on your uh, hard drive. So, drivers, Southbridge chips, uh, you know, everything, everything. So, try doing that, and then after you literally cleaned everything, restart, install the drivers again. You know, those are your only two fixes. For some reason, now everything is much clearer. 
uh, my two two uh, R7 uh, 265s are actually registering before I wouldn't register uh, nothing of the sort so those could be only fixes you know so I'm gonna actually put the uh, links and everything now the AMD utility cleaner is something that I guess they removed from the AMD support site so you probably might have to google that um, I can't really give you a real link to it because my real link where I got it from was actually AMD so you probably might have to dig on their website go onto the site map and look up AMD utility cleaner what this does is removes everything from your PC so like I said Google it make sure that you trust the link that you're going to download this from because this this app is kind of malicious you know it removes things that you know really would make your uh, computer run perfectly smooth and everything without these drivers your computer would just go crazy for a while until you actually give it the instructions of what's actually installed on your PC so like I said everything will be on the links below um, good luck to you guys and definitely comments and let me know what's what's your issue what's your problem and I'll try and see if I can actually help you get it fixed or what but I'm still trying to fix my issues with the updates and upgrades it's just not going very well but I can't blame AMD AMD did their part it's not really AMD's issue it's more of the user getting to know their PC and trouble fix shooting and all this other stuff so it's more of you having to put time on your PC and ensuring that it actually runs smoothly and synchronized because without it you know you're probably gonna be blaming your gaming uh, experience on something that's not really them it's probably you so thank you guys for watching do comment subscribe rate let me know what you guys think and what you guys think about the Omega drivers so far what's what's been going on in your mind have you guys actually seen improvements have you actually guys uh, been seeing better quality movies the DVD the blu-ray I heard is supposed to be tight but I don't have a blu-ray player I really don't get into putting CDs on my PC anymore so yeah, it's just purely gaming. I just have hard drive, processor, memory, video card, no sound card because the motherboard does everything for me. Pretty good. Pretty good. So, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you. I'll talk to you then.